Welcome, fellow explorers, to Discovering Gray's Lake Podcast. My name is David Wool, and I'm your guide on this journey through the hidden gems and untold stories of our beloved Gray's Lake. Whether you're a longtime resident or just passing through, this podcast is your passport to the heart and soul of our community. Together, we'll uncover history, celebrate the present, and dream about the future of Gray's Lake. I'm doing my best to leave no stone unturned in our quest to discover what makes our town so truly special. Get ready for interviews with local legends, fascinating insights of our town's past with a sprinkle of the unexpected. I invite you to join me every week as we embark on this adventure together. This is the Discovering Grays Lake Podcast. A quick word from our sponsors and on to the show. It's time to unleash your style with custom shirts. Explore endless possibilities with Jammin' Tees. Jammin' Tees. Jammin tees. Whether it's for school, Jammin business, team, or events, Jammin' Tees. Jammin' Tees. Jammin' Tees. Jammin tees. Has you covered, literally. For all your custom apparel needs. Jammin tea, jammin tea, jammin tea, jammin tea. Hey there, Grays Lake. Looking for a good time right in the heart of our awesome community? Well, look no further than the Grays Lake Village Center, your one-stop destinations for all things fun and fabulous. Picture this. Historic downtown vibes with a mix of diverse businesses, shopping galore, and restaurants that'll make your taste buds dance. But that's not all. The Village Center is where the action is, with events happening year-round for the whole family. Take a stroll through Central Park, Gelatin Park, surrounded by trails, green spaces, and more activities than you can shake a sledding hill at. And when the weather warms up, dive into the Grays Lake Aquatic Center for some splash-tastic fun. But wait, there is more. Visit GraysLakeVillageCenter.com to discover the incredible lineup of events happening every month. Want the 411 delivered straight to your inbox? Sign up for the Grays Lake Village Center digital newsletter on the website or check out their Facebook page for the latest happenings. Be in the know. Not sure what you're waiting for? Come on down, soak in the local vibes, and enjoy the experience that's unmistakably Grays Lake. Grays Lake Village Center, where the fun never stops. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Discovering Gray's Lake. Um, we are recording here at Agora Coworking, which is on the corner of Atkinson and Center Street. We'd like a big shout out to Luke and the crew here uh, for having us. If you guys are looking for a space just to have a meeting or you need an office for a day and just want to get out of the house, uh, this is a great place to uh, be. So give Luke a call over here at Agora. So these girls, um, we, we, we agreed that we should have had cocktails before this, right? <laughs> Definitely, yes. Okay. Um, and, and one of our newest sponsors for Friday, um, and when you guys hear the new ad coming out, you're going to love it if you haven't heard it already, right? It's, it's Jam and Tea. Oh, I love it. It's okay. It is, it is the cheesiest <laughs> fun thing I we could do. It's so good. It's called advertising. You did right? a great job. Okay. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. So hopefully we'll, you know, I'm going to play it right after this. Yes, yes. That, that's good. Um, so why don't you two introduce yourselves? Um, to our, our, our Gray's Lake community, and then we're going to talk about what y'all do. Yeah. I am Jessica Hofer, and I'm the owner of Jam and T-shirts. Uh, my name is Jennifer Everett, and I'm, I do everything Jessica tells me to right. <laughs> for okay. Jam and T-shirts. Okay. Are you guys sisters? Yes. Okay. And twins, you, yes. Uh, oh, and you're twins. Yes. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me look. Let me look. You are? So do people mess you up all the time? Every yeah. day. Really? <laughs> yep. Okay. And, uh, We're known do as you me. think we look alike? Uh, you look like sisters. <laughs> I would I would say you're definitely sisters, um, but twins. Yeah. People call us the Grace Lake twins. Really? <laughs> yeah. You didn't hear that. People yet? call me a lot of things, but it's not that nice. Um, that's cool. So, um, you guys, you get your girls. I would say you guys, um, sisters. Who's the oldest though? Me. You're the oldest. Nineteen minutes older. Wow. Yep. You, you don't look a minute old. I, I thought so. <laughs> not, not even a minute older. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so you guys have jam and teas. Mm -hmm. um, and first of all, we're going to just start and tell exactly what you guys do. So if anybody's listening, we want to know what your business is, and then we'll get into the good stuff. So what exactly is your business? Exact. Our business is making custom apparel for your everyday needs, business needs, school needs, spirit wear, whatever you need. Um, mainly t-shirts, but you know we have t-shirts. Sweatshirts, pants, um, any hoodies, anything that you need to put your logo on, to put your team name on, we can do it. Okay. And Jessica said when she got in here, she thought she was being funny when she said, "Oh, oh, I was going to bring you a Sasquatch shirt." Yes, I owe you really one. Were. I owe you one. The not funny part is you were going to. We, we were, yeah. Yeah, I should have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're sizing me up now, so yeah. that's good. Okay, so how do two twin sisters get in t-shirt business? Well, we are both teachers. Mm -hmm. and Where at? Where at? 
Peppermint Sick Children's Center. Stop. I work at Grace Lake Middle School. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so if you know anything about teachers, they love t-shirts. Yes. (laughs) So that's where it kind of all started, you know, like just diddling around making shirts. And then all of a sudden it grew into this business that is jamming tees. It is business jamming? It's It's jamming. jamming. It's jamming. Yes. Tell me the first t-shirt that you guys made. Oh, golly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, where did you like? We made them like, since high school, like for really? ourselves. And so we, you, yeah. you guys had cool T-shirts that you guys made Always. for yourself, and then birthday parties. And who's the first person that said, "Make me a T-shirt"? Uh, I don't know that. Good you question. I mean, okay, <laughs> who's the first organization to when you were like, "Oh my God, this has to be a business"? Like we're screwing around, we're having fun doing this, but now this should be a Shoot. business. Probably one of Jennifer's schools. Yeah. Yeah. I used to work at a school in Racine. I think they were the first one. They like make oh. this, and she, we're like, we got it. Wow! So after you make that, like you guys are like, holy cow, we could do something we love, and make some money doing it. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Okay, so have you guys been in Gray's Lake? I mean, you guys haven't lived together your entire life. I'm assuming. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> we live four minutes from each other right oh, now. Oh, you do, mm-hmm. and you live in Gray's Lake. Yes. Okay, so how long have you guys lived in Gray's Lake? I've lived in Grace Lake for seven years. Seven years. And you? Mm, six. Yeah, you have to think about that. It, <laughs> and time flies, Yeah, though. it really does. Time really does fly. Um, did you guys live here before you worked at the schools, or did you move here because you worked at the schools? Our dad lived here growing up, so we always used to visit, and then we moved here. We both adults. knew that this is where we wanted to end up. That's awesome. Yeah. So dad lived here? Yeah. Like, for a long time? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, we came to visit here ever since we were kids. Nice. That's awesome. So, what did you said you're not, what school are you at? Grace Lake Middle School. So, you're at the middle school. What do you teach at the middle school? I'm a reading specialist. Really? Mm-hmm. How long have you been doing that? Yeah, at the middle school, this is my second year, but I've been teaching for 15 years. Wow. Okay, that is a must be a really rewarding job. I love also. it. Mm-hmm. That's cool. And I'm sure you get to see the kids progress. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. And what grade? So that's sev- that's seventh, seventh grade, and eighth. Yeah. Seventh I graders? teach the seventh graders. Yeah. Seventh grade is a tough age. I love them. Okay. Well, <laughs> good. I'm glad you did. You can, I used to you teach have that kindergarten job. for ten years. So. Oh really? Yeah. What? Where did you teach kindergarten? In, in uh, Kenosha and Racine. Yeah. Nice. And you're a peppermint stick. How long have you been peppermint stick? I've been a peppermint stick for twelve years. Twelve years. Yeah. Okay, that is a rewarding job as well. Yes, I love it. Okay, so you guys deal with children all day. Make t-shirts all night. <laughs> and make t-shirts all night. That's what we do. Okay, so um, I first said to you, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I need t-shirts. We need Discovery Grays Lake you podcast do. t-shirts. I mean, definitely, yes. Oh, for sure. So tell me some organizations in town that you guys do shirts for. Yep, we've done shirts for uh, Colts, cheerleading, um, Grays Lake Park District. We sell shirts at 393 Center Street. We do Fred's Diner. Um, Jennifer, chime in. <laughs> thinking we do. Uh, We've done shirts for Grays Lake Heritage Museum. Um, I actually have a list so I can remember. <laughs> really? No, that's good. I'd like when I hear them. Oh, Circus Kazoo, Becca's Boot Camp, um, Coyotes Baseball, Sliders Baseball, Grays Lake Wrestling Club, Club Elite Soccer, CLC. Um, Peppermint Stick Children's Center. Of, of course. course. <laughs> then you, have, you have to do that one. Obviously. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, as the, so how long have you guys been doing the t-shirts? Um, really hardcore since 2018. Oh wow! So for a pretty long time. Yeah. That's great. Do you guys ever think that you'll just do t-shirts and not teachers teaching? No, no teacher. No. Kids are our <laughs> passion. Wow. We already know. So that. is it better for me to order shirts in the summertime? Well, <laughs> no, we work hard all year. Yeah. All year long. Well, at Peppermint Stick, you don't have a right. summer break either. Right. Um, okay, and you guys, do you have kids that are in school district and everything like that mm-hmm. as well? So you both have kids? Yeah, I have a nine-year-old son. Nine? In the district. Mm-hmm. I have two boys, 12 and 14. So they're at? Uh, GMS and Central. Wow, you have everything covered. You're yeah, like every year we're between, everywhere. <laughs> between teaching here and having kids and you're at every school that we could possibly think of. Um, okay, so where does the name Jam and Tease come from? Jammin actually stands for Jacob, Andrew, Mom, Jam, my little family, 
jamming through life together. Right. And I love it. Thank you. It's, it because too. it's a fun name, too. Yes. It's, it's, it's a fun name, so that's why some of the things are capitalized. Yeah. J-A-M is capitalized. Yes, my two boys and me. Wow. Did that, was that originally, like, when did you decide you needed a name? For, did you work? When, yeah, when I started to sell a lot of shirts, and people were like, where do I get it? And I'm like, shoot, what is this going to be called? <laughs> right. It's funny how your hobbies go into things, and then as business grows, there's a lot of other things you have to figure out. Yep. And um, it just seemed like it was a perfect fit. No. Ah, perfect fit. I get what you say there. <laughs> wow. I'm going to see how many puns I can come yes. up with accidentally during this. got you covered. We got you covered. <laughs> Literally. Um, I knew a guy that said that once, too. Um so you guys are also on the D46 Foundation. Mm -hmm. Wow, how did you get involved in that? So you're in, you're involved in the D46 Foundation. Yep. So I cool. became a part of that when Jessica was a part of it because I really wanted to be more a part of the community, and then I got a job because I wanted to work for Grays Lake. I knew I wanted to work for Grays Lake, so I started there and then got a job at Grays Lake Middle School. Nice. So is that like your way in? It was her in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, See? what can I do? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> Um, and one of you are on the, the library foundation as well. Yep. So I am too. too, yeah. Jeez, but you're, you're not, so, okay, the library foundation is something that I've learned so much about that I... Me too. It's a big deal. Yeah, because I wanted to be more involved in the community again, and I wanted to know everything about the library so I could help my students know everything about the library. Wow. And I brought them there for a field trip, and I want them to know that it's another place for them to go. Grays Lake, are you ready for some nonstop fun with the Grays Lake Park District? Hundreds of classes, programs, community events, all designed to keep those smiles shiny. Explore over 240 acres of parks, each a playground of excitement. Safety is their priority, ensuring a good time for all ages. From kids to the young at heart, the Grays Lake Park District has something for everyone. Grab your seasonal program guide for memories that will last a lifetime. Your adventure begins with the Grays Lake Park District where fun knows no limits. Hello, Grazed Lake. It's Randy Cashmore with Cashmore Financial Group. It's no secret that I love our village, and a big reason for that is my membership with the Grazed Lake Chamber of Commerce. If you haven't taken a look at the Grazed Lake Chamber lately, you should. We're a wonderful group of business people creating a positive difference in the village we call home. Reach out and get involved today. You'll be glad you did. It is nice when you can actually make kids feel cool that it's the, like, my, my little guy, like, he, from what his reading person at school, he came back and, like, let's go get a library card. Exactly. And right. It's like, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. He's like, don't you have one? And I'm like, no, Dad, yep. can't read. It's like, no. So, I know somebody. <laughs> right, but, but, not, but I have people on the foundation that can make me look good. Um, so, so you're involved in the community a lot, and it seems like you guys take a lot of pride in, in everything you do here. Um, and the beauty of this show is that I love, um, and, and thank you to our listeners for supporting all of our, our local businesses that come through. So I hope that people are listening now that if they need shirts for their what, whatever, Anything. right? Mm -hmm. Gosh, I can think of 10 things I want to use. You guys are going to get all these <laughs> emails from me like, Dave, we're not making you any more T-shirts. It's, it's fine. Um, so... Um, I also know Jessica. So I, I, I had a little help here. So some people gave me some, some dirt on you guys. So um, Jessica, I, I hear the um, a little bit of a love-hate relationship with uh, Jesse Oaks. Wow. <laughs> you poor thing. Yeah. Tell yeah. Me, tell me about Jesse Oaks. Well, I started playing volleyball for the very first time um, maybe a year ago. And during volleyball i tore my acl and i've been out since july and i just had a second surgery last monday and it's you, been you're doing good for having a second thank surgery you. It's monday. been it's been rough i had to take six weeks at home work at home um after my first surgery and you know just trying to play bar volleyball <laughs> and have a little fun one night and not make t-shirts <laughs> And I've been dealing with the with the pain ever since. Wow. Well, I'm glad we didn't have cocktails before this, because one of us would have torn our ACL during the podcast. That would be, that would be right. kind of fun. Yeah. So he, yeah. So you're going to play volleyball more then? Never. Okay. Never again. I play so. You do? Do you play, do you play at Oaks she too? She comes and watches. Yeah. Oh, I think this is the first time that we've said Jesse Oaks on the podcast, which is, which is kind of fun because it's so, so close. Shout out, Sean. Yeah. You better, you better listen. Right. Um, for sure. Um, the other thing I like to talk about a lot, too, um, is how your company and things that you guys do give back to our community. 
Um, the, the, the one thing that I do know, um, and I don't know anything more about it is, which I should, um, is the, um, act of kindness day. Oh yeah. Yeah. So tell me about that and tell me how that originates. Like Zach, Zachary? Yes. Mm-hmm. You're going to make us cry on here? No, it's okay. Only John Beaumont has cried on here. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> um, I think it's really sweet because I do know some of the stories. So. Thank you. So um, our nephew, Zachary, um, unfortunately passed away when he was 15 months old um, from said C, sudden unexplained death of a child. And that just means your body shut down. No reason no, no, um, nothing was wrong. It just, that's what happened. Um, so as you can imagine, <laughs> losing someone so close to you, um, is, is hard, but he made such an impact on all of our lives. Uh, and mm-hmm. we try that's to so honor nice. him. <laughs> yeah. We try to honor him every year. Um, on his birthday, um, so we do random acts of kindness, and we try to spread it across the world. You know, you never know what someone's going through, um, or what you know the struggles people have. Like no one would know. You know, our sister lost her son um, because she puts on such a great face every day. So, um, doing things like having a shirt with his name on it or you know random acts of kindness and spreading the word of just you know what you can just be kind because you never know what someone's going through and wearing his shirt with the tree that we planted in honor of him is just so rewarding to us and make sure that we can keep his legacy alive um to honor our sister our nephew um and that's the impact of you know just a shirt and so it's it's great to be able to keep that going and make sure that um, he will never be forgotten. Absolutely. I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> yes, yes, no, you did such a totally good job fine. saying that. Wow, to get through we, that. Was, yeah. And I'm sorry for your loss too. Thank but, you. but what a wonderful way to honor him. Yeah. And and he and he lives on through that. He does. Okay, so when is the birthday so we can we can. Your, your message is wonderful. And, yes. you know, everybody that's been on it from Miss Mary to everybody to talking about random acts of kindness that I think we all, we all need to do more. Um, yes. not just on, on yeah, so day. September 16th, we always honor him. September 16th. Yes. All right. You're going to remind me of that and we're going we to will. Make You'll sure see that, it. Yeah. Yes. We, we do, we do tons of different things. And I mean, I love giving away t-shirts. So <laughs> it was one thing <laughs> that yes. we, we do. Right. So when you do that, how do you, like, how do you do that on that day? Do you, I mean, um, sometimes just pass them out. Sometimes, bring, like this past September, I brought probably 50 teacher T-shirts to work. Uh-huh. And I said, take whatever you want and just gave them out to all my staff. And, um, you know, like I said, teachers love T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, no, they do. And, you know, just pass them out wherever, whenever. We just do other rep. Like other random acts, random acts you know, buy people coffee, too, spread the word. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And and what a way, actually, that and that inspiring people for the random acts of kindness is probably the best way to give back to a community, whether it's whatever, because it's inspiring other people to treat other people better as well. Right. Um, and it's so important, especially during, you know, we're sitting here during the holiday season, that, right. and people go through tough times. I'm sure that your sister goes through tough times at this, mm-hmm. and everybody that's listening, including myself, it's a, it's a hard time to go through when you've lost somebody so important. Definitely. So, you're doing the 12 days of Christmas. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> we just talked about the holidays. <laughs> yes. As we're talking about the holidays. So I actually saw your guys post that. So the 12 days of Christmas, mm-hmm. it, it, from what I from what I saw that you have where people write in and mm-hmm. s- to send somebody a t-shirt. Is yep. that how it goes? Yep. There's 12 days open. You could write in. And um, all of the message come in with lots of stories of you know, this person deserves this because of all of the hardship that they've been through or that they're just, you know, in a, they just want to show this person some love. And they're like, how great would it be to get a t-shirt in the mail for no reason? But here's a note, send it to them. And so um, that's what I do for 12 days. And I told myself I should do one a day, but she does them all. I have a problem and I send any, any message that comes (laughs) through, I send it out. 
I love your problem. Thank you. <laughs> your problem. Thank you. That's fantastic. Where did, okay. So, and I wrote in and said, I need a t-shirt. Yeah. yeah. I, so I ruined the <laughs> whole, I ruined the whole idea. So where did that come from? That's just, it's, it's a heart. great idea. Our loving giving heart. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> wow. That is really cool. So what's the coolest message you saw on there so far this year? Oh, they're sad. So that's a cool. lot of them are, are sad, but, um, one said, you know, she just, this friend of hers, um, was battling cancer and she was in remission. So she wanted a shirt that was like, you know, excited that she recovered and, and was celebrating that. So that was the coolest one this year so far. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So how many submissions do you get? Um, well, the 12 days aren't over yet, but so far I have probably 24. Wow. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's very cool. And how long have you been doing that? This is my third year doing it. Third year. Yeah. Wow, that's fun. And it must be really, um, well, I know that you said a lot of them are sad, but, you know, it's it's honoring, too, that people actually care about the other person enough to, right. to, to want to give <laughs> them just, something Yeah, cool. very, just, you know, fun to send people gifts and... Well, you know what I like about it, too, is I was thinking about all the packages that are showing up at your door, and you're getting them brother for your kids or your family, and all these Amazon packages come in and actually have something come cool to you. Right. Yeah. Right. Perfect. That's awesome. So when do you send them out? Do you send them out right away or do you send them so they, because obviously this is going to air after Christmas, but, um, yeah, so they, we they send be. them out like right now as the submissions are coming through, just so I'm not, you know, bombarded with too much. So wow. little by little. So do you only do that on your, cause I, I saw that, um, on your Facebook page or your Instagram page. I think I saw it on, on, on one of probably. Those. Yeah. Gotcha. And then I think everybody should know that you have a TikTok. I was gonna page say too. it's on TikTok too. Always. <laughs> so let me tell you a little story. If you know anything about TikTok, uh, listeners, that we were we were chatting a little bit before and pull out their phone and 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 show me and it's like, yeah, we have a TikTok channel. I don't know how many people we have. They have twenty seven thousand people. <laughs> Yep. Is is that good? Is that what you said? <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding? Didn't me? say that. <laughs> Twenty seven thousand people. Okay, so who? What, what kind of videos are on there? Okay, Another sister what, of ours. The, yeah, what's the name of the TikTok channel? So Jam and T-shirts. Jam and T-shirts. So easy to find. <laughs> and you have another sister. Yes, she and helps us with that. She helps it, or she does all of it. Helps. Helps. Yeah. She dances. <laughs> oh, so it's that kind of, I didn't know if it was like a business center. Like, I mean, it's both, but she does some, you know, uh, she does some cool things of how you can like cut up t-shirts pretty cool, like make them, make them different. And then she'll do some fun TikTok dances because obviously you have to when you have a TikTok. I didn't know that. I have a couple of TikTok accounts. I've never danced. Well, maybe I, don't think. You, I mean, do you have 27,000 no, followers? I may have 27. Maybe I should start dancing. You can hire us and we'll show <laughs> right. you. I got to get a hold of your sister too and yeah. make sure that she knows. Yeah. Wow. So 27,000 followers. Does any of that, because I'm always interested when people have a business TikTok, does any of that transform over to business? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. we have a code on there. Discount, for discount So we know when people get us from TikTok. Gotcha. Like $5 off. Okay. So do you just, uh, it makes me think that you don't just sell t-shirts locally then. No, we actually have sold in 48 out of 50 states. Wait, you've (laughs) sold in 48 out of 50 states? Yes. We need Alaska and Hawaii people. Alaska and Hawaii? (laughs) That's crazy. That's awesome. And here I thought you were like this little local t-shirt company. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, so, we tracked it with a map. It will be. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. So how do you get business from out of state like that? Is it the TikTok? Is it your, like, how do you get that? Social media. Social media, word of mouth, teacher tees. That's really loud word of mouth, by the way, if you get to, <laughs> to 48 states. <laughs> like, that's crazy. It's teachers. It's it's, that's what it is, yeah. Definitely. I have a, a very big following of teachers across the country. What? Well, apparently. Mm-hmm. And I said, teachers love t-shirts. <laughs> teachers love t-shirts. You do, you need... have a, do you have a t-shirt that says that? I we should. I think you should start the t-shirts love t-shirts. Yes. And then send them out to Alaska and Hawaii just exactly. randomly. Yes. And then see what t-shirts you can get to buy t-shirts. Very true. I should do yes. that. I want, mm-hmm. I want uh, residual income on that. <laughs> yes, please. Somehow. Wow, that's amazing. So mostly teachers. So what what, what kind of t-shirts do teachers order? 
Like, do they have, like, a lot of them? I love my job for all the little reasons. <laughs> She's wearing it. And she, she did come promoting herself, yeah. Wait, this is a jam and tea, too. Yeah, yeah. it's a jam and tea as well. Yes. Wow. Every day. Okay, so do Pretty you guys much. do all the designing and everything like that? So who's the who's the designer? I'm learning. You're learning. She was number one, and I'm starting to take over. Gotcha. So did you initially start this by yourself, and you're like, I, yeah. Yes, like, yes. She yeah. needed help. <laughs> well, it got to be too much. Yeah, I would say it would be really hard to do by yourself. Yeah. Um, do people usually have a good idea in mind when they call, or do some people call and be like, okay, I have a preschool and we're having this and we need something? Yeah, I think it's 50-50. Some people will say, I need this exact logo. Yeah. Or some people will say, here's my idea. Show me what you can do. We bring and it to so life. We, that's Give awesome. them a couple different options. Yeah, how many, like, because I order stuff off of a bunch of different, like Fiverr and everything like that, where they make designs, like, how many times can they change their designs? Uh, yeah, you get to know someone real good. Right. <laughs> she's very <laughs> nice, too, and she'll just keep doing it no matter, wow. for free. Yeah, because my next question was going to be, who's your biggest pain-in-the-ass client you've ever had? Yeah, no, we're not going to. We're not going to go there? <laughs> <laughs> See, but you're so nice and you're so giving. I wanted to hear, like, somebody that's been, right? like... I love everyone. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. Especially in Grace Lake. <laughs> well, we'll talk after we right. after the recording ends to find that out. Um, but but most people, well, everybody, lo- everybody loves T-shirts. I don't know any business that, except for mine, um, that doesn't have T-shirts to, to yeah. promote things. Right. And a lot of people have their own T-shirt people. We just want to be their people. Right. Um, so what do you think makes you guys different as a T-shirt company if they have somebody right now um, except for that you guys are kind and cool. I was just going to say, I mean, that's, that's not, not it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all they got to do is listen to podcasts. Yeah, and, I mean, and we have know. a podcast, we have a TikTok, what could be better? <laughs> right, exactly. And this better be on your social media as well, oh, by the way. Um, no, but that's really cool. It's it's really cool. It sounds like, what's the, how about the craziest t-shirt you guys have ever made? Have you ever had one that you're like, oh my God, like this is like inappropriate. Sure, yes. sure. We've had inappropriate t-shirts. So you will make inappropriate t-shirts? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to say what it said, but right. I think, I don't know if it was the craziest, but we had to make 500 t-shirts in a matter of like two days. Yeah, yeah. That was a lot. In two days. And so yeah, because you know I don't we don't say no. <laughs> so, uh, I know how that goes. Yeah. Yes. So that was probably like if I'm looking back at our time right now was the was a minute of crazy. Five hundred. We put our kids to work. I bet. So uh, because I'm ignorant. The boxes were this, taller than me. Oh <laughs> well, you have to get the t-shirts. Yes. And then you have to get everything ready. And then are they screen printed? I don't know how. T-shirts yeah, screen stuff print, is. heat press it. Wow. All the fun. Yeah. Wow. And you need 500 in, two in that time. Yeah. That's just crazy. Um, amazing. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But nobody listening this don't think that you can get your 500 t-shirts. Yeah, right. Or, <laughs> it's like a little ideal. bit of a bad way to like do that. It's not ideal. For sure. Um, excellent. So I, I, I love like, I'm a t-shirt junkie. I have thousands and thousands of different t-shirts, especially I see something stupid. And oh, I'm yeah. Like, oh my God, I have to have that. Yeah, it. definitely. And I'm buying it off of Instagram, whatever, and thirty dollars a T-shirt, right? Because you, because I have to have it. And right. It's midnight, and I'm scrolling through. Right. <laughs> That's when people will screenshot it and send it to me, be like Jessica, recreate this. I'm like, oh, sh- of course. <laughs> well, yeah, no. Oh, it's funny because my my dream was all the time that I wanted to have a T-shirt place because we have so many funny sayings and everything that I will oh, hand over. Start something. Yeah. Great to meet you today. <laughs> yes. How about, I'll give you the idea, I want one t-shirt, and then you can sell the rest of them. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, yes, and you're going to, maybe your inappropriate story will be about me. Next time, yeah, I'm on here. And I'd be happy if you give me a shout out during that as well. <laughs> um, that's fun. Um, so with all these different, um, all the different community people that you work with, um, as you, I'm sure, like the fun runs and all of that stuff, mm-hmm. so, and I want to make sure that anybody listening to this, let, let's keep our t-shirt buying local. Um, which, which is huge because I know that there's places you can get stuff probably cheaper than you guys um, actually sell them at. Um, but it's good to keep everything as local as we possibly yeah, can. Yeah, support the community. Yeah. That's what we're all about. Absolutely. It's a big circle. And you guys support back, obviously, in a huge way as well. So love that. Love that Thank about you. both of you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so um, 
I'm not sure how we're going to do this, but we're going to do this. Um, I don't think we've ever done our hot seat questions with two people. Oh, gosh. So what do you think? Should we go? I think that we should do... Um, how about we go back and forth? It's time for the Grays Lake Hot Seat. <laughs> the Grays Lake Hot Seat today is brought to you by Premier Chiropractic. Dr. John, conveniently located in historical downtown Grays Lake. Premier Chiropractic offers you a full range of chiropractic care. John is dedicated to treating people within our community and showing them the benefit of great, convenient, affordable chiropractic care. So if you're looking to get straightened out, go see Dr. John at Premier Chiropractic. Now for the Grays Lake Hot Seat. All right, so doing the hot seat with two different people. Um, so we're going to go Jennifer first, okay? Me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I feel like, you know, like you're, yeah, I, okay. I think that you should go first because I feel like I don't. I'm no, ready. And no repeating answers. Well, maybe. You well, can repeat shoot. Answers. <laughs> yeah, you guys are, um, you're fine. All right. So, um, Grace Lake hot seat questions. All right. First of all, um, if you had a superpower, what would it be? How about whoever wants to answer first? Yes, good That's idea. That's a better way. Superpower, what would What's it be? Superpower? Oh, yeah. Um, be able to fly. <laughs> That's fair enough. You know, you can get somewhere super quick. Yes. Cut down on Uber costs. Don't time. go through traffic. I don't know. It would be cool to fly. Flying's great. <laughs> Jennifer? Oh, dancer. Yeah. Fly with me. <laughs> okay. Get on her back. Okay? Uh, yeah, I don't know. All right. All right. So, Jennifer, you're starting this. A place that you like to travel that you've never been, besides Alaska and Hawaii. I've been to, to deliver teachers. I want to go to Hawaii, actually. Okay. Hawaii. Really bad. Hawaii is my, on my bucket list. All right. That you guys should do a business right off and go there and start. We should, because they don't have a t-shirt there. I, I'm telling you. We um, have been to Alaska. Wow. Dang it. <laughs> um, favorite TV show growing up? Sister, sister. Sister, <laughs> sister sisters both say sister, sisters. Obviously. Okay. Um, who's the funniest person that you know? Oh, Jessica. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> I guess. No, actually, a really funny day is us two together with our kids. They'll laugh your butt off. Yes. I'm I'm sure of it. <laughs> okay. And some of these you might share, I guess. Um, you never know. So, um, first car. Oh, share, shared. Shared a green Thunderbird. What year? Do you have any idea? <laughs> we didn't care. I don't know. 96 or something. <laughs> okay. Um, do either one of you have a hidden talent? <laughs> Making t-shirts? <laughs> it's got to be hidden. Oh. <laughs> Duh. I, I don't think that's hidden. I wish. Okay. No. Some people are like, yeah. Some I'm people are like, no, I have no, no idea. Being on the hot seat is intimidating. I know. Why is this? I feel like I just lost my thinking. Right. Before. And you'll remember driving on the way home. Maybe your superpower should be answering questions fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're getting no no hidden talents, but if you think of something, trading places. Oh yeah, is that hidden or is that, that obvious? That obvious. What do you mean trading places? We trade places, especially when we were growing up. We looked very identical, and we used to go in each other's classes, take each other's tests. Stop it. So if one of you's good at math, you yeah, go that's to math exactly class. what we did. <laughs> Really? We switched yeah. on boys, switched on family. You did not switch on boys because that's the first thing that came to my head. Yeah. Like <laughs> Everyone asked us that. Yeah. Really? Uh, wow. And you pulled it off. Uh, is there a time you guys got caught? Nope. Never. You never got caught? Nope. Come on. Nope. <laughs> not until now. You guys are going to get in front of us. Remember in the uh, <laughs> So you were identical, so people really, you could pull that stuff off. Yeah. So at what point or what age did you guys start where people were like, oh. I mean, they're probably adults. Yeah. Yeah. Where we came into our own a little Did bit Did you guys more. wear, like, cute little matching outfits? Anyway? Unfortunately. <laughs> Is that what you have to do with twins? You have to For dress them the same way? For far too long. Yeah, don't do that if you have twins. Right. Yeah, word from us. Yeah. Or we don't else. like it. <laughs> yes. But you guys Only if they have matching t-shirts. That's right. <laughs> I was, you beat me to it. You beat me to it. Um, all right. Uh, Jessica, we're starting with you in this one. Um, if you had to write a book, what would it be about? They should have started with me. Okay. I wrote a book. You did? Yes. How many people have asked this question? Like, oh, yeah, I wrote a book. <laughs> you seriously wrote a book? Yes. Okay. It's in the process of being published. Okay. Are we allowed to talk about what it's about? Sure. 
It's right. called Logan the Fox, and this is about my son. And he used to like wearing costumes, like even all year, like not even on Halloween. And I just love how he is like his own person and doesn't care what other people think. And it has kind of turned into his own like dressing style now. He doesn't wear costumes anymore, but he has his, a very definite style. And I just love that about him. So the book is all about a little fox that dresses up and wants to be who he is. And people make fun of him, but he doesn't care. That's awesome. Thank you. That's awesome. So how far along are you in the process? Um, it's being edited right now by an editor and it'll be done soon. Wow. Now that is super exciting. Yes. I'm super excited about it. That's fantastic. Thank you. All right. So everybody keep out for Logan the Fox. Yes. All right. Awesome. I want a, I, I want a copy of it. I want, a, I want an autograph copy. We'll do a new podcast. On. Yeah. Well, sure. and I, I have never realized how many great like, authors there are that we've had on. Yes. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, my. We have a lot of really talented. I should have figured the reading specialist would the question that I ask you first. Right. Thank right. you. Exactly. Okay. So if you had to write a book. And sure, now don't no. tell me you've already wrote a book. No. Okay. But the idea is in my head. Okay. And it's called You Don't Have to Share. And it's because I teach preschool. And... The average person would make two children share, right? You don't have to share one item. You have to take turns with it. And so just kind of going along the lines of being able to communicate and to be able to talk about what I have in my hands. I don't have to give you, but if I want to, you, I will. Interesting. <laughs> Get on that. That's it's a whole awesome. series, right? It's going to yeah. be a, like, is it like a, a children's book? Of, yeah. Preschool. It's all about preschool yes. things. You are two talented young ladies. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously, <laughs> I'm 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 totally impressed. Um, wow. Okay. So here's a fun one that I don't know that you guys. So besides teaching and besides t-shirts, if you had to take a job in another field, if you had to go back and choose something else to do, what would it be? You're forced to. You know, Interior get decorating. Okay. That's what I wanted to be when I was like in first grade. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard a first grader say that, by the way. I'm but I knew in second grade decorator. I wanted to be a teacher, so I feel like after that I knew I was going to be a teacher. It's a transitional period. During I just... <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough time in your life, finding your own place. I used to watch Trading Spaces, and I wanted to be an interior decorator. Do you remember that? Yeah, me yeah. too. I was going to say the same thing, so... <laughs> really? You guys went from Trading Places to Trading Spaces? <laughs> nice. Um, and what did you want to be? Or what would you say? Same, same. yeah. Okay. Sorry, it really, we are, no, we are really very alike. twins that you're that much alike? We are. Oh, yeah, alike. we can kind of read each other's minds and know things. So you guys finish each some, other's sentences all mm-hmm. the time. We've had some twin experiences. Twin oh. tuition. Yes. Twin tuition. Mm-hmm. It's hard to say. Give me a story. Mm-hmm. Tell me a good twin tuition story. Um, we used to walk to middle school, and one day she was homesick. And when I walked, I was walking home, um... And when I walked past a certain spot, I knew that she was in a car accident. And when I got home, she told me about it, and it happened. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. That's really crazy. I didn't believe her, because I was like... Right. I knew, but I was like, you're making that up. You read my mind. And she was like, no, it really happened. Wow. This is like a fender bender, but still. But still, the fact that you knew it. Yeah. Twin tuition story? Twin tuition? Oh. <laughs> yeah. What is twin uh, tuition? What is it? No, no, oh, no. Oh, story for her? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know. But no. <laughs> now I'm like drawing a blank. No, that's okay. <laughs> she could tell you. No. <laughs> read my mind. <laughs> okay. Would, would the, with the twin tuition twins, um, would the 12 year old version of yourself think you're cool? We are. Our 12 year old version would think we're way cool. Mm-hmm. Right. Do you think? <laughs> I don't think the 12 year old version of me was cool. <laughs> I've never had anybody say that. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm way cooler now. <laughs> I think that's a good thing. I think that's a really, really good thing. Actually, that's a better question. Do you think the 12 year old version of yourself is cool? Change your question. Right. No, it's interesting. Um, wow, because you guys are both 12 year, 12 year old at the same time too. Um, do you guys have a, do you, either one of you have nicknames? Jessica. <laughs> Jennifer. Besides Just, the nickname. Uh, Jessifer and Jenica. I don't know. Oh, okay. Grace Lake Twins. Twins. Grace Lake Twins. <laughs> yeah, that's our nickname. Um, okay, so this one's a little more serious, though. Um, what do you wish you've learned sooner? Good question. Save money. Amen. Amen. 
that's a serious answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't have don't the same care answer. too much. <laughs> right. Yeah. I like about what people think. Yeah. I don't care too much about. It. Yeah, just don't. I mean, or don't stress too much. Don't stress about the unstressable. Right. I don't know. <laughs> just make sure <laughs> no, it's actually, it's actually really good. I always said not to take yourself too seriously. Like, right. <laughs> everything seems like a dilemma when you're in it, but as things go, a week later, you don't even know. Yep. You can look back and laugh at that. Okay. Um, if you guys, you can't have the same answers for these. Oh, gosh. I mean, no, you might, you might. If you had an animal, if you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? A bird? <laughs> well, yeah. Because <laughs> you can fly. Exactly. <laughs> if you, you were, if you were a bird and had to have a superpower, what would it be? To walk? <laughs> to skip? To be invisible. Oh, an invisible bird. <laughs> I can't right. even talk now. And if there were, a, what kind of animal would you be? You don't even know. That's fine. Um, Think of me as a bird. <laughs> okay. Um, we can't do the next one. <laughs> do it. Because it would be the same. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what was your first childhood pet? A dog. What was its name, though? Taffy. Taffy. And the, Same. Yeah. Sorry. Obviously. And then what road did you grow up on? Metal Lane. Lane. Oh, I know this. And yeah. <laughs> See? So it's the same because you're twins. What was the name of the road again? Meadow. Taffy Meadow. <laughs> and that would be your adult film star names for both of you. And you would be twins. And you, That would sell for a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to stop right there. I'm not going any further. Uh, even though this is for adults, but yes. Um no just, more just comments. Just stop. Yep. I'll, I'll, Pause. I don't bite my tongue very well, but I, I did Insert right jamming there. commercial here. Right. Jam, jamming, 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 tease. <laughs> <laughs> um, have either one of you had a roller dog from a gas station or a roller food at a gas station? I had to look that up when I heard that on your podcast. I didn't you don't know, know what a roller is? Like you never walked in a gas station and see the roller dogs there? Mm -hmm. Well, once I more. looked it up, I realized. But I, So, no, I've never had that. Yeah, if you didn't know what it was, then. I did yeah, not know. know. That's that's, that's funny. I'm glad you did your research, though. Should I? Should you try a roller dog? Yes. I, I, <laughs> um, you have to consult your doctor. Why is that, that a question? Because it's ridiculous. <laughs> but, because I think roller, I think the roller dog food is amazing. I think How it's many a really, have you had? Uh, yeah. Today? No. <laughs> I haven't had any today. You know what? During road trips, it's a kind of an easy thing to do, and it's intriguing to me. So I may have eaten a taquito or a hot dog or my little seven-year-old thinks that they're really cool and he thinks they're the best hot dogs ever we need to go yeah yeah just go have a roller dog yeah i'm uh gonna start a roller dog business after this uh middle names <laughs> make her a real roller dog lee oh, roller dog show. lee my middle name is lee my son's middle name is lee lynn lee lynn oh my gosh okay <laughs> um if you had to have a theme party at your house what would it be we love theme parties. We are the queen of theme parties. Well, <laughs> We're your... having a prom coming up. You are not. You're invited. Theme okay, prom. thank you. I'm there. Yes, theme well, prom in uh, April. Prom from any kind of year? Can mm -hmm. I come as like 70s prom? Well, it's not going to be our birthday, so 80s prom. 80s prom. <laughs> awesome. Um, from 1 to 10, how good of a driver are you both? She's way better than I am. Is one good or bad? One being the worst, ten being okay, the best. Okay, she's a one and I'm a ten. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to ask who drove here. Um, did either one of you play a sport in high school? Basketball. We had badminton. We both played. Wow. We were badminton partners and people would get really confused. Oh, my gosh. And we were doubles partners. Wow, okay, yeah. And they were like, that. no, you just served. And I was like, no, I didn't. <laughs> Or maybe she did. Right? You, never, you know. never know when they switch. You fouled out of the game. Or maybe you didn't. Exactly. Wow. Um, that, that's that's fun. Um, from one, one being the least likeliest, ten being the most likeliest, what's the chance that Bigfoot exists? Oh, God. Definitely a ten. See, I like you. I knew I, I, knew I liked you. Of course, that too. You're, you're a horrible liar. Horrible liar. Um, favorite Grays Lake event to attend? Summer days. I'm not gonna say the same. Tree lighting. Tree lighting. Tree lighting is hugely. It's 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 unbelievably popular. Um. Okay. So we're see. I already know the answer. Um. So if I said okay, 
we're done here, we're going to go have a drink somewhere in Dre's Lake, which we may or may not do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> where are we going? Emil's. Emil's? Yep. First choice? Awesome. Okay. We um, have a second and a third choice, too. Yeah, let, me, let, let, me hear this, let me hear the second and the third. I mean, Emil's first draft, the vine. Okay. We, kind of we do it. We'd hop around there all week. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And now... Now I'll just yell, Grace like twins. Yeah, exactly. Um, so um, what is the favorite, your favorite podcast episode of, of ours that you've listened to? Mine is Miss Mary. We go way back. Obviously, I work at Peppermint Sick. She's absolutely amazing. Yeah. She, she's and so loved in our community. She is. Yeah, and deserving so. Yeah, yeah definitely. She's awesome. I really liked um, Jody St. Mars. Because she gives back to the foundation, and I'm part of the foundation, so. Jody's awesome. Yeah, she just, I really appreciate her. Yeah, she's fun. Um, and we may or may not have had a conversation about uh, that you're falling asleep to one of my podcasts, uh, but we're not <laughs> going to. We're, we're, we're not. We're not going to. Was that a re, that was a research thing? Not not for pure entertainment. Oh well, yes. Of course. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Um, when you eat tacos, do you tilt your head to the right or the left? <laughs> to the right. I would say to the left. All right. Well, Finally, that's... something different. No, that's because you guys sit so close to each other. You right. have to go the opposite way. See? As long as you're not sharing the taco at the same time. We um, love tacos, though. Ta- tacos are good. Um, if you had to bring a famous person to Grays Lake, uh, what would you show them about our town first? Where would you take them to say, because I, obviously you guys have a lot of pride in our town, like, where would you take them first to show up? Well, I would start the day off at Fred's, and then we would... Definitely go downtown shopping. We have a full day planned already. So oh, go to Fred's, go downtown shopping, and then um, get some cheese curds at First Draft. Go to Emo's for pizza and finish off with a chocolate martini at the Vine. Wow. Sounds like a perfect day to me. Yeah. <laughs> and check out a book at the library. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to go to the library. I'm going to do all the fun places. <laughs> I'm adding that to her day. You're I like the day. day. I love all those places. I just added something in there. I just stopped at the library to check out a book. <laughs> nice. Um, so nerdy. Uh, no, it's, <laughs> it's okay. Hey, it takes all kinds. It takes all kinds. I, just, I told you I couldn't read, so, you know. Um, okay, so favorite childhood book. Um, shoot. There's, like, way too many to choose from. Choose one. Um, mine was a childhood, but my current favorite children's book is the book with no pictures. Is there, that's what it's called? Yes. Wow. You need to read it. Yes. I can't just, I didn't get it for the pictures. <laughs> um, really? A book yeah. with no, what, so what grade would that be for? Preschool. Pre- preschool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's fun. I'll check it out at the library. You should. See? <laughs> You just have to teach me about the card catalog or whatever the... We can teach you how to read. Right, we can start there. I I need a reading specialist. Um, So, Mm. she bought you some time. Right. I think Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Nice. And I I, I love this question because it is... uh, I love hearing the different answers to it. Do you think that we have um, a need for a business in our town that we don't have? So I like, like what what does Gray's Lake need for a business that we don't currently have? Someone said a candy store, and I was all about that. Yes. I'm Would huge. That, like an old fashioned yes. like candy store. Yes. Like, so like a, I can't think of anything else besides that now. And candy never hurt anybody. And they can have very fun T-shirts. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we have made candy shirts before. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. All I can think of was like somewhere for kids to go hang out, but that just got taken down. The Oasis. I know. But so that's like stuck in my head now about like somewhere for them to go. Yes. Right. And because a lot of people, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and we've talked about that a lot on here too, is talking about how you know in a community like this, it'd be really nice to have more mm-hmm. things like that. Even though that with the park district and all the fun things going on, the skating rink opening and the sledding hill and the but but like a community kind of other than our normal things that we have. Right. Yeah. Like I grew up, we hung out at the arcade and we hung out at, oh, you know, different arcade. places like that. Yeah, you can have an arcade. Yeah. No, no one would go to an arcade because <laughs> they have cooler games at home. True. See, 
We went to an old fashioned arcade and put like quarters. Where were we? That sounds Tennessee. fun. Yeah. We I, were somewhere. When I was in Portland, they had places like that everywhere. They're mostly like pinball and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, things like that, which is really cool. Some dance dance revolution going on. Wow. <laughs> Throw nice. back. We used to the rose. <laughs> <laughs> It's so weird being with twins. I'm just telling you. It's, I don't like. I didn't. Think I don't you know guys people are going to be able to tell their voices apart. True. Well, then they. So I'm gonna leave some of the imagination. Silly. It was Jessica. <laughs> right. <laughs> Other than stating your name before every time you speak, or me have to call you. Because I didn't think you guys looked alike before, but now you completely. I have no really? idea. <laughs> like who's like actually? I have no idea. I think I'd just say J. Yeah. J. Oh, that is one of our names. But J L. Yeah. You're both JL. Yes. Mm-hmm. And prior to marriage, we were both JLF. That's why our mom did that. Wow. Thanks, mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so growing up, did you girls always get along together? Oh, yeah. 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 There was only one fight our whole life. Stop. Over a pair of pants. Yep. Really? Who we got, both wanted who got to wear them. Pants? I think we ripped them. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody got them. It was, yeah, it didn't end well. Wow. Okay, so it's not, I mean, you guys obviously still adore each other and hang out and do business together Always, and do yeah. everything. Wow. What, was the, what do you think the hardest thing about being twins is? I tell you, I, you've mentioned a lot of fun things that you can do, but what is that, what was like the hard part? Or is there a hard part? I don't think there's a hard part. You were born with your best friend. I was just going to try to say I that. feel bad for people though, that I don't have to. <laughs> Which is how much, what is the percentage oh, of Oh, a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what is the percent? I'm, I have no idea, yeah. but I'm sure it's way, way, I'm sure it's up there. Okay, this is not a hard part, but it's an awkward part. Okay. When people come up to you and start talking to you and you have no idea who they are because oh, they think you're somebody that happens else. all the time. It happens to us every other day. How do you handle that? I'm just, like, sometimes you just go with the flow sometimes, and pretend yeah. like you know them, or sometimes you're like, I'm Jessica. <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I can see that being difficult. Yeah. Well, thank God I don't have a twin brother. <laughs> We'd probably be like in jail or something right now. <laughs> yes. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. So there's not really a hard part to it. No. 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 And you're born with your best one. The nicest thing you could possibly say. I didn't expect <laughs> any less from you. <laughs> Seriously. Seeking a haven for your soul? Look no further than Inner Haven Spiritual Development Center, where your spiritual journey is uniquely yours. Artisans, storytellers, healers, teachers, spiritual warriors. Find guidance, support, and a haven for your inner self. Inner Haven is your sanctuary for transformation and discovery. Step into Inner Haven's art gallery. A haven within a haven. Immerse yourself in a world of joy where art, repurposed treasures, and specialty gifts await. They're not kidding when they say almost everything in their space is for sale. Discover a constant flow of new creations, all crafted by local artists who pour their hearts into every piece. It's just not shopping. It's an experience. Accent your home and find the perfect gift for a loved one at Inner Haven Art Gallery. Your journey begins at Inner Haven, where every piece has a story and every soul finds its haven. It's, that is crazy. Okay, so any big, um, I'm not going to ask how old you are, um, but I know that you're 17 minutes older. 19. 19. Yeah, Sorry, 19. Didn't, didn't, mean okay. to, didn't mean to close the gap any further than it has to be. So what is the plan for Jam and Tease? Are you happy where you're at? Are we growing? Are we going to end we, up We a, are definitely growing and maybe possibly hiring some people because mm-hmm. it is growing so much. Um in the future, so. Wow. Do you do everything out of your home? Yes. Any interest in having a storefront or having something like that? Um, maybe. Yeah. You're maybe. not ruling it out. Right. But it's kind of nice to have that you can work on your own time and not right. have to be, well, and both of you with your jobs. You right. Can't, yeah. Like, have our a jobs come first. Unless you had to hire somebody. Right. But, and so I'll hire some other people to do all that nonsense. So, right. So. <laughs> Most of your stuff comes, do you have an e-commerce store that's out there that people like look and see a design or is everything else? So obviously a website. Yeah, website. Mm -hmm. Jamandtshirts.com. Jamandtshirts.com. Yep. And Jammin has one M or two M's? One M. One M. See? Yep. Um, One mom. One One M. Ah. Stands for mom. See? Now. (laughs) Except there's two moms. So if you (laughs) change it, she wants me to (laughs) rebrand. I want it to be added. (laughs) 
<laughs> I think that we should add another M. I think so, too. I think that's going to cost a lot Is of money. Is that grammatically correct? Because she would want that. She would, but you can have the M's together. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. She would want it to be accurate. Or yeah. we could swear it. Yes. <laughs> Right, because there's no play on twins in there at all. Exactly. Except for my ad, which jam and jam. <laughs> yeah, usually they're quadruplets or something. <laughs> That's on there. Okay, so everybody that I sent that ad to, my my radio guy friends are like, dude, that is the cheesiest thing. And I'm like, no, it's but, the best. no. Yeah. And then all the texts I got back were jam and jam and jam. <laughs> which I we were saying really it the rest of the Feel day. free for them to broadcast it wherever they'd like. <laughs> right. And it's funny sitting in my basement being completely ridiculous, like, have not met you girls at all. I don't know that I would have done the same commercial now. Really? I don't know. Come on. I love it. I, I, I don't love, know. I we love can't it. go back. No, nope. yeah, it's, no. it's in there. It's in stuff. It's go golden. Back. Golden. I just can't wait for the first person to come up and actually say that to you. Then I'll oh, feel like I, wait. I feel like I've done my job yes. after that. Free t shirt. Free t shirt to Dave every <laughs> time you get a name like, drop. Really? I'll really? do it. Yeah, make it All right. I, I'm on for that. Yep. And I'm gonna send you my crazy t shirt ideas. Yep. yep. Um anything that you think that we need to share, um, because I know that you guys have done a, a lot in the community, obviously you're involved in a lot of different um organizations like that. Um, anything that you think is important that you guys want people to know about you? I know that's a very general yeah, question, oh but God, I know. So I when, but when that. you're sitting, you know, and you guys are thinking a lot of people are coming to a podcast, um, I talked to, uh, I'm not going to name her name, but a young lady downtown that has a business and she said, like many people do, they said, I don't know that I want to be on the podcast. I don't, I really don't think I'm that interesting. Hmm. But a lot of people say that, and you're like, you have no idea, mm-hmm. because your guys' stories are your stories, and until you actually say them and and people hear we'll them. We'll find out if we're interesting or not. <laughs> what? And at this point, if you're still listening, you obviously have found them interesting. Oh, gosh. No. So I don't know if there's anything you do for the community or anything they need to know about your about your business. That and I'm going to look back at my notes while you think about that. Um but I, th- I think it's important. Especially I think um, one really cool thing that we have done and um, continue to do, kind of going back to our, our nephew, but we have done other fundraisers for people going through hard times, specifically childhood cancer, um, breast cancer, a lot, a lot of cancer things. But um, just doing fundraisers for those specific people. Um, so we sell the shirts, obviously. Up price it, we give back all of that money towards um, a foundation or the people that are in need of That's awesome. some extra. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. So if somebody's listening now and they're thinking of fundraising ideas, yes, you're the girls and to call. It's we also give back to schools too for fundraising. Yes, yeah, Spirit Wear, we give back. Uh, we've worked with a lot of different schools, a lot of different PTOs. Um, post the Spirit Wear site, and then they earn so much money off of every shirt sold. That's awesome. Um, I've been involved with a lot of organizations where I've had to purchase, purchase T-shirts for sports or dance mm-hmm. or whatever, and I've noticed that a lot of those aren't local businesses. So I would like that to change. Us too. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, we should keep our business in town. Um, Definitely. You know, it's funny, when I DJed for a long time, there were certain schools in our town that would hire people from Schaumburg or other things like that when I'm paying taxes for the schools and you guys are paying taxes for your homes and your business and everything else. So keep it local. Do you still DJ? I do a little bit here. <laughs> I, I, I may know some local events yeah like only, a, like only, a prom coming I, up I, right? I, oh my god now that i would do <laughs> yes i was gonna say there's only and if it was an 80s one hell yeah we're at eight round wow Sold. wow um but it's fun because those are the kind of things that i, that I personally like love to do yeah and we do all the local schools and all that but adult parties like that maybe i say that question because i really want to be at a theme party yes yeah it's a good thing you met us. Wow, well, I know. It's our, it's our jam. Yep. All right, give me the, give me the, give me the, that's <laughs> our jam. is also our jam. <laughs> that's right. I, I'm going to have to have a special t-shirt for that, though. You guys are going to owe me, like, 40 t-shirts, but yes. you're like, we promised Dave a lot. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did. I just want to start with the squatchy one. That's, that's fine. Um, and I wanted to say from one to ten. No, just kidding. Um. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to end with this. In less than, so organizations around town, if you're looking for a fundraiser, 
Um, but once again, I, I push everybody to keep our, our business local and buy fun T-shirts for everybody, whether your family for Christmas. Or did you? you can make someone stay. Yeah. Even seeing somebody in a cool T-shirt makes someone stay. Yeah. See, now I would love to send like random T-shirts to people like during the year. <laughs> yes. So is it is it more expensive to one off? Obviously, get cheaper as you. you yeah. Know, we have both discount. Yeah. Okay. But if I want one. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Sure. sure. Okay. No problem. And you guys can help me with the design. All right. Yeah. I have to send everything to you. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, the last thing I'm going to ask you about, and then we're going to close out, is um, Puerto Rico. Oh God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just, I want to know, um, it, it, and it says, a great story to ask is about when you went to Puerto Rico. <gasps> what story? Um, it says something about a cleansing. Oh, oh yes. yes. I'm glad I know the story better than <laughs> you do. <laughs> I don't even Who know what I'm talking about. I'm from. Oh, I want to know, too. <laughs> so we, tell went, you tell the story. Uh, we went to Puerto Rico with our friends. And we didn't know that the weekend that we were there was what was it called? I can't I can't even remember what the day was called off the top of my head. Yes, but if you go in the ocean at midnight, and you walk like ten steps with everybody who's at the ocean at midnight, and you dunk yourself backwards three times, you're cleansed of all your sins. So we did that. In the and pouring rain, it was rain. pouring, it was rain. pouring <laughs> rain. It was at midnight, and we were in the ocean. It sounds like something you've seen in a movie. Right. <laughs> it was so fun. It was. There was so rain. many people there too. Really? Mm -hmm. Did uh, were people there just for that? Oh yeah. Yeah. But you ran. We had no. Idea. We ran into a local. They told us, "Are you going to this thing tonight?" And we we're like, "What?" And then we showed up. Wow. I'm gonna look to, that up. Ready right to be cleansed. <laughs> wow. How often does that happen? Because I need What's some points. Okay, What's the year? What's the year? So I can do anything I want this year and then just go back. Exactly. You just go and get done right wow. here. We're going to Puerto Rico. Okay. Do you guys take trips together all the time? Really? All the time. Really? That's what we do with our jam and money. We travel. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, you two or you two with the kids? Yeah, everything. Kids, Us, friends, friends, kids, anything. Whenever we have a chance, we go somewhere. We, we try to be very spontaneous. Puerto Rico was, let's go to Puerto Rico. Okay. Alaska was, let's go to Alaska. <laughs> Where do you awesome. want to go next? Let's just go book it. That's awesome. Yeah. See, you've inspired me to have more fun, too. Exactly. More spontaneous. Work hard, like play that. hard just is our motto. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do my best <laughs> every, every day. Just don't, we'll, we'll tell no stories about that. <laughs> um, well, thank you, girls, both. Um, thank anything you. in closing that you want to share? Anything? Thank you so much. Just play the commercial again. And <laughs> <laughs> no, it's already <laughs> stuck in my head. Play it again. <laughs> and anybody that listens to it, please don't, like, if you listen to it, don't go, that I thought I was serious, dude. <laughs> like, I was just having fun. That's what I, we're about. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And the text exactly message that we put we back together, I felt that the vibe was okay. Yeah, to, like, it fits. Just yeah, have, perfect. have fun with that. Um, okay, so thank you guys very much. Grace Lake, thank you so much for listening. Make sure that uh, if you have any T-shirt needs at all, get a hold of these girls at Jam and Tees. You can follow them on any social media platform. You don't need to follow them on TikTok because I got 27,000 people. <laughs> Um, but no matter what platform you're listening on, speaking of subscribing, make sure if you're on Apple or Spotify or wherever you're at, even on YouTube, uh, make sure to subscribe. Then you get to see our next guest, and you don't need to remember um, on a Tuesday or Friday when the new show comes out. So, And once again, I encourage everybody to listen not only to the people that you know, but the people that you don't know in our community, because that's what brings everybody closer, and I think that's cool. Um, so now that we have a Tuesday and a Friday show, uh, we'll see you next Tuesday and Friday. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Thank you.